Welcome back everybody. Today we're back at the C5 because it's up for the season for maintenance and just regular um, cleaning up and getting it ready for next summer. So we thought we'd start a little series into the winter and go over some of the things that we've done to the vehicle. And the first mod we're gonna talk about is how to get the most out of your cold air intake systems. And it starts with the front of the Corvette here. And if there's some noise in the background, I apologize. It's a nice day out, everybody's out. And we've got the 3D printer running in the background. So the very first line of defense here for our, the front of our vehicle and to get the most out of our air filter is gonna start with this nano net mesh because most people have covers in the front to protect their car and they're usually leather or plastic and they don't allow any air to go through. And the front of this Corvette does have some ducting here, even the base models for the brakes. So we wanna keep all that open and this nano net allows that because it's mesh. So we're gonna take this off and start talking about the cold air intake and how we actually got it to breathe better. All right, we got the mesh net off. So we're gonna ignore this front bumper filler for right now. Normally, on most Corvettes, there's gonna be a license plate or a license plate um, filler plate. We'll show you real quick. Something along the lines of that right there. Okay, after you install this air filter, or the cold air intake system on your Corvette. It's not really gonna be drawing in any cold air. It's actually gonna be drawing in warm air, except if you have, I believe it's the Veraram system. We tried it, we got it from Summit Racing and it was just terrible fitment. So we returned it and decided to go this route. But if you come down below the Corvette here, you'll see there's nothing. The air filters blocked off everything. And you do want to keep this area clean, so we are going to clean this. But all the air filter access area is essentially blocked off. And you're drawing air. The only reason you see light is because we have cut the area in the bumper. But normally, it'll just be in here. And you'll only be getting air from around the sides and the top right here. If we go back around to the front, we'll show you... Uh, what modifications we did and how we get fresh cold air in here. All right, we're back at the front of the car. So the first thing we did to open up this air intake system was pick up a set of these Z06 fog light housings. Now, under normal circumstances, this area here is blocked off. So you can cut your old one out, but this one was already done. It was cheap so and it looks good. So we got it. With the Z06 housing, air will enter through here and come up through the side here. And we'll show you with a reflection down here. So as you see there, you'll get air into the side of the filter here. And then you get air all down outside here. And that's gonna pose a problem. And we'll talk about that later. This is the passenger side. Again, the same, it comes through. It's more pronounced now. You can see the actual ground through here and why we say that it poses a potential problem and how we fixed it later. All right, now that we had the air coming in through the two fog light housings, the next area to get was dead center for the cold air intake and that was the bumper filler here. And as you can see, we got an actual GM part. That bumper filler there is still available. The mesh we used was, was some cheap Home Depot stuff. And as you can see, we cut a square behind the bumper here, leaving all the spots in case we wanted to reinstall the old filler. And then we spray painted the bumper black back there so it kind of masked it in. It's decent, and especially when you have the bra on, you can't notice it. But that is where you're gonna get all your cold air from coming in right directly on the filter and we'll show you how. All right, this is how we have it set up for the front here. We'll turn it on and it's aiming right down at the center of that air filter. And as you can see, the light comes right down. So all the air is gonna feed in from the entire front of this vehicle here, all three of those spots right under the front of that air filter. 
We also did the front filler mod here. And what that's gonna do is just gonna, it's gonna keep some dirt out of your engine, but it's also gonna keep that gap closed so any air being rushed in from the front is not gonna escape out and you're gonna get maximum air to the front filter here. All right, remember we told you there's gonna pose a little problem with all that extra air coming in the front that we think? So right here we have the brake duct, which is along the front there and draws air in to cool down the rotor assembly while you're under hard braking. Now that air normally comes in here and gets trapped and kind of spun around and the wheels let it out, whatever happens. The additional air we're getting in from the front bumper mod there, as you can see the lights coming through, is also going to be introduced with this air coming in from the ducting here. That's going to create additional pressure against the car. So one way we thought about alleviating that is picking up these Electron Motorsport ducting vents. Pretty nice quality. They're usually sold out. We added the Z06 mesh in there. But that right there is gonna allow you to vent some of that heat, some of that turbulent air coming from the front and some of that additional air coming in. And that's how we get the maximum benefits out of this cold air intake system without using the Veriram system because using the Veriram system just didn't work for us. We didn't like it. Another choke point here is the uh, boot. A lot of the intake companies have already taken care of that, but if you're still using the accordion style boot, get rid of that and just get a smooth transition boot like that one. This whole kit's made by Air Raid. It was a decent price, that's why we picked it up. But overall, we've gotten good gains out of all of our mods, but we picked up definitely the maximum horsepower we can pick up with allowing fresh air to come in through the system here. Hope this helps you out there when you're trying to get the most out of your C5. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.